Hey, welcome back everybody to what we are now calling the Black Cat Car Corral. Because it may not be obvious from our other intro, but we like cars and we like black cats. So on today's video, we've got a bit more progress to show off. So let's go take a look and see what we've done. As you can see, we've been a little busy. So let's uh, get into it and show you what we've done. Work today is going to be disassembling this entire front end all the way down. We gotta drain the coolant. Uh, I wanna try to get all of this out through here. Uh, maybe some of these high pieces here like the alternator, uh, compressor. Uh, you can just in this style, in this body, you can see how up high and tight they are just to fit where they're supposed to live. So we're gonna work on getting into this direction here, then maybe work on some of the wiring harness. Uh, the fuel is still hooked up. Oop, gotta pay better attention to the camera here. Fuel is still hooked up. We've gotta get that out. Uh, make sure it's not pressurized. At some point, we're gonna drop the tank and the lines for the welding and the rust repair we need to do. So yeah, it's going from this forward point. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. progress so far. So you can see we've got the radiator out. We're starting to get some of the front end components off. We don't have to take everything off. Next is probably going to be wiring, electrical. Uh, definitely got to get the power steering lines out. Uh, some interesting things about this frame since you know, I've seen some of this around from the top working on in the past, but now getting a good up close look. See somebody has, I guess, scalloped the frame to account for this. There's a little bit under there that's done. That's pretty close. We'll have to see on the new motor if any of this will have to be further modified. It also looks like we've got a little room for improvement on some things here. I might come back and clean these up on a couple spots, like right here. Somebody boxed this off, but it'd just be a good idea to come in and seal this up where possible, I think is a good idea. Uh, most of it looks pretty good though.
see it on the camera. This is a Bostitch brand ratchet. It's pretty neat. Uh, you can twist the back like this to spin the ratchet in either direction. The only thing that I don't like about this, I mean, it's nice because it's like a speed ratchet, but you know, some ratchets have these grooves, so you can spin here if you're in a, in a hard to reach or a weird spot. Uh, this one, though, when you spin it, is how you set forward and reverse. So it's not very good at that, and sometimes it does catch on things if it's tight, but this is super duper handy. State of the Union update. So back under here, a couple of things. It doesn't matter since we're taking the transmission out, but this whole area right here is what I would call juicy. That sensor, that whole area is very nasty. There's, we knew about it under the seat. Here's an old kill switch. It was having issues, so we just always left this one on. Uh, something else that's kind of interesting. I'm wondering if this is actually used for the speedometer. We'll probably change this out to something different. I'll have to figure that out. Um, so we'll figure that out. Next up, here's where the shift linkage comes out. I'll have to see how this will work on I think this is a 4L60, uh, maybe an E. The motor and transmission we're getting is gonna come definitely with a 4L60E. So I have to figure out shift linkage. Uh, the next thing's up, I sprayed them earlier, but we've gotta try to get these collectors off here and here. It's easy to spray penetrating oil from the back side, which is kind of nice. So we gotta get all that off, get all this wiring off, get this uh, little transmission cooler disconnected, get all the wiring underneath, and some stuff on the starter here. We're not too terribly far from trying to disconnect or remove the bolts here and on the back of the transmission and attempt to remove this motor. More to come. As you can see, it happened. You know, I often joke that when we come out here, we're gonna put the next car up on the operating table. And if that was the case here, I think we just created 
a horror scene, and it looks like the body tried to drag itself away <laughs> all the way over here. But once we got everything disconnected, uh, the way these motor mounts work, it just lifted up and out. And that's why I like taking motors out of old cars, because once you disassemble the whole front end, it's like a truck. Look how easy this is. And uh, six bolts, 30 minutes. That's all it took. Yep, when we finally got everything disconnected. So you see the way somebody had made these motor mounts before is out of, I think that's two by four inch square tubing. It's actually a pretty clever design. And then they made those plates to go down. We'll have to evaluate on the new motor and see if I wanna replicate this, maybe cut them out and start over because I'm sure it's gonna have to move. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but pretty excited. We got this far. We uh, labeled most of the ends of the wires here. We're gonna try and salvage that uh, to keep with the motor, the motor and transmission. But yeah, are you excited? I'm very excited. This is awesome. Out. Uh, let me walk you over here for a little sneak peek for what we've got going on on this part of the shop. Looks like an LM7 for a Jeep. And here's the replacement motor for the 39. We've got a 4L60E and another 5.3 LM7 here. Uh, this is the drive-by uh, cable version. We've got computer, wiring harness, uh, donor fuse block. Uh, one of these came out of a 2000 Suburban. One of them came out of a 2000 Tahoe. And I believe they both have around 200,000 miles. Uh, but it's in pretty good shape. Um, I don't know if they cleaned it at the salvage yard or if they just pull them and sell them. They may try to clean them up because it looks like somebody may have tried to get some of this gunk here. I don't know what they did. 862 casted heads. So yeah, there's uh, gonna be its new power plant. Very cool, very, very cool. We've got the engine out, and the next step is to remove the gas tank and then the fuel lines. Uh, and then we wanna remove some of the interior because we wanna get to the starting on the driver's side first and see what kind of rust is in there. Hopefully not too extensive, but it might be. Um, this is really fun. It's pretty exciting having the engine out. I think my dad would be pretty proud and we're giving some new life to the car. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.